What's up guys? It's a new year and new projects are beginning. Today we are starting construction on my solar panel mount array and I've got my neighbor here and a couple of his buddies to help me out. So far we have scraped the ground of all the vegetation and we laid out the we laid out where the footings are going to go. So let me show you. So here is the first one. Everywhere there's a pink hole is where we're going to put a footing for the array. We've got five piers going this way and five piers going this way. They're about seven foot, six inches apart and uh, about seven foot, 10 inches apart uh, from east to west. So let's get started. Also on the same day, my team came down from Phoenix and brought me all of my solar panels and things I needed for my guest house. And by the way, that also arrived. It was a really busy day. I said goodbye to my neighbors and thanked them for all of their help. All right, guys, it's day two of working on my ground mount solar panel array system. It is extremely windy outside, so I hope this video can come through clearly. Um, yesterday, or the day before actually, because I took a day off, um, I had my neighbor come in and he dug these holes for me for the concrete mounts that I'm about to do today. I went ahead and put the orange line, as you can probably see here, put that in, made sure it was level. And so now I'm going to bring the sato tubes up to level so that all of the sato tubes when I start to pour the concrete will all be at the same height. So I'm gonna get started on that now. This one right here is a little off because some dirt fell in the hole and kind of got this tube stuck. And with my two hands, I can't get it out. So when I'm pouring the concrete, I'm just gonna have to pour it a little bit lower because I feel like it's like a half an inch too high. The other ones I'm feeling pretty good about. It's looking really good. So now I'm gonna take some of this rock, throw it in the bottom and then uh, start mixing some concrete. and uh, I really want to get the first row of all of these um, columns poured so that I can reuse the wood for the back row 
and basically do this all over again. But learn from my mistakes. Don't knock any dirt in the hole or else your tube will get stuck. Man, I struggled with that one. All right, so now it's time to mix up some concrete. <laughs> done right now I can't I don't even have enough energy to go back to the job site which is like two or acres away from here I just fed the dogs <coughs> I'm pretty sure I inhaled half a bag of concrete note to self wear a mask I did put on my mask kind of halfway through um, I finished all five piers I went through 20 bags of no 16 bags of the 60 pound concrete and 20 bags of the red, the 50 pound concrete. <sighs> I'm done. I still have the whole back tier to do. Pretty sure I'm gonna talk myself into waiting for my foundation to be poured and then ordering extra concrete to fill up those piers. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's happening and I'm gonna move on to another project tomorrow. So I've earned a chore beer for today. Um, my dogs are happy, <laughs> they, they ate. Good night, y'all. See you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and you want to see more, make sure you're subscribed and give this video a thumbs up. See you next time.